Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. How are you guys doing? We have a new first minister of Scotland. Yes, a new first minister who is of mixed heritage. Actually, he's from joint Pakistani and Kenyan mixed heritage. His name is Hamza Yusuf. No, not the Hamza Yusuf. Maybe you're aware of online from Zaytuna College in America who speaks about Islam. No, this is another Hamza Yusuf. Uh, this particular Hamza Yusuf. However, he is supposedly meant to be a Muslim. Unfortunately, I have come across a very disturbing interview of his where he was talking about something which is ma'loom min ad bid-darura, something which is known unequivocally in the religion of necessity. Let's take a look at the interview and come back and respond in kind. The question was, do you believe that gay sex is a sin? No. If I can just be clear about that, that's not, okay. that's not, I just, I've been asked that question about 25 times and I've answered it the same way 25 times. So I, I can't change what's in certain faiths. I can't change what's in scripture. What I can tell you is the approach that I will take, which is that I will not allow personal faith to be the basis of legislation. Now, at the end of the interview, she asked him point blank, unequivocally, unambiguously, is it a sin? And he said, no. This is kufr, akbar, yukhrij sahibuhu min al-millah. This is something which takes somebody out of the religion of al-Islam. You cannot maintain a subscription to Islam, if you want to call it that. You cannot be a Muslim and say this at the same time. This is a negator of Islam. This is and negating a very key verse or verses, many verses, and a hadith, a plethora, multiplicity of different ahadiths in the Quran and in the Sunnah. This takes you out of the religion of al-Islam. What kind of verses are we talking about? For example, in chapter 7, verse 80, 81, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions, وَلُوطًا إِذْ قَالَ لِقَوْمِهِ إِنَّكُمْ لَتَأْتُونَ الْفَاحِشَةَ مَا سَبَقَكُمْ بِهَا مِنْ أَحَدٍ مِنَ الْعَالَمِينَ إِنَّكُمْ لَتَأْتُونَ الرِّجَالَ شَهْوَةً مِنْ دُونِ النِّسَاءِ and Lot, when he came to his people, Walutan إِذْ قَالَ لِقَوْمِ said to his people, that you are doing something, a lewd action that people haven't done before you. أَإِنَّكُمْ لَتَأْتُونَ الرِّجَالَ shahwa. You are approaching men with lust in a sexual, sexual manner. This is so clear. مِنْ دُونِ nisa, Aside from women. Aside from women, this is talking about homosexuality, clearly, yes. Bal antum qawmun musrifun. You are a transgressing people. This is what the Quran states unequivocally. There is no abrogation of this, there's nothing of this. This is in the Quran, it's clear, crystal clear, it's cutthroat. You have said two things in that interview, Hamza, yeah? You said number one, I believe it's not a sin. Okay, and I can't change scripture. By not changing scripture, the implication is that you understand what is in the scripture because the scripture says what I've just mentioned to you. So you understand what's in the scripture, you cannot change it. Meaning what? You've done as much as you can possibly do. This is the messaging that you... This is such a weak, pathetic messaging. And to be honest with you, it's taken you out of the fold of Islam. Frankly, there's no excuse. It, the only thing you can do is repentance. You can say, Astaghfirullah wa tubu ulay. Uh, as the Quran says you have to do tawbah you have to rectify yourself and then you have to clarify this matter in front of the public you being in political office is no it is no excuse at all for committing kufr akbar and you know what's interesting about this I was watching um, before I watched this interview between Piers Morgan and Jacob Rees Mogg and this individual he's a Catholic he was asked directly very similar questions. He's a high, a big player in the Conservative Party. I think they were even mentioning his name. He was of one of the major, major names, main names that were mentioned to be the next leader after Boris Johnson stepped down. This guy is a, is a big player in the Conservative Party, a big part of the cabinet, of the executive form of government. And look, he had more fortitude than you did. He had more authenticity than you did. He spoke the truth of the matter. And when he was asked, let's take a look at some of the things he said. Um, what are your views on same-sex marriage? Is well, that something you support? I'm a Catholic and I take the teaching of the Catholic Church seriously. Well, there's plenty of Catholics and, who support same-sex marriage. Um, but marriage is a sacrament. Mm. And the decision of what is a sacrament lies with the Church, not with Parliament. 
Can I, can I just establish, do you oppose I support the teaching marriage. of the Catholic Church. Just a straight question, whether you uh, think it's a sin. I think I've answered the straight question, that is, that the teaching of the Church in matters of faith and morals uh, is authoritative. So if he could do it, why couldn't you do it, you coward? You are a coward. You are a coward. You are a kafir as well. You are a disbeliever of Allah and the Messenger and the Quran. You are not. You have no right to call yourself a Muslim. You have. You are excommunicated from the religion of Islam. You are out. You are finished. You are done. That's all I have to say about you. And if you want to come back to Islam, you have to take back your statement because you are nobody else on the face of the planet can take part of the book and reject part of it. That you take parts of the book and reject parts of the book, Ramadan and fasting, you take that part because it has no problem, no qualms with, with what the white man wants. You're talking about white people. In, in, in parliament, he was talking, this person is white. This, let's see the clip, if we can get the clip. He said, okay, this person is white, this person is white, this person. Take my portfolio alone. The Lord President, white. The Lord Justice Clark, white. Every High Court judge, white. The Lord Advocate, white. The Solicitor General, white. The Chief Constable, white. The white man, we just, we just saw here, who's a conservative and a Catholic, has more fortitude than you. He represents us more than you do on these issues. So what are you talking? Why are you with well, the white man this and the white man that as if you're some kind of anti-colonial person? You're not an anti-colonialist. You, you have the most colonized mind of all of us. You are an Uncle Tom, Hamza. You are an uncle. You are finished. You're done. Do you understand? The only way back is for you to make repentance and clarification. Otherwise, you will be relegated to the trash heap, the dustbin of history. You... Uh, just another Uncle Tom, just another Ilhan Omar, just another Rashida Tlaib, Tal 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 whatever her name is. Yeah? You're just another one of those people, which you're, you're nothing. Do you understand? If you want to be a real man, you come out with your beliefs and you go into an office like that. Otherwise, you're nothing. And you are nothing because you have left the religion of Islam. And the only way back is for repentance and clarification. And this is a lesson to all of us. No matter what kind of pressure we are put under, yeah? And what kind of allure of the dunya that we may have, you can never sell out your religion. You can never sell out your religion in this very clear way. You could have said something which could have given you a bit of, could have allowed the theological or the theologians to give you some kind of ta'wil, interpretive scope. But you were so clear cut on the matter that there's la yahtamilu ta'wil wa anta kafir, you are a disbeliever. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.